The tides are finally starting to turn for Jack and his team. Finally, they're catching up to the cold-hearted wizard. Much to his unrelenting anger. Discovering a human city fighting to keep the devil's monsters at bay, Jack barges inside as a conquering hero to the darkness. Even with the soldiers doing everything they could to stop Jack from getting inside the city, Jack broke through their defenses and laid siege to the castle town. But as he broke into the city, so did the mindless monsters outside. Now caught in the middle of war for the heart of the city, Jack was forced to slay the mighty door and crush the humans' resistance at the same time. But his efforts have surely paved the way to victory, as the gates have been opened to a massive cemetery beyond the city. Amongst the tombstones and coffins, Jack is sure to find the key to tracking down the conniving wizard. Welcome back to more Pumpkin Jack. Last time we made it through human territory and finally took the fight against humanity, even though this was basically our job. We spent most of the time fighting the devil's minions instead because they're absolutely brainless morons. We fought the king of the monsters, we defeated him, and by all manner of circumstances should mean that we ourselves are the king of the monsters, but unfortunately that does not seem to be the case. Instead we got the consolation prize of this absolutely god-awful scythe that I am forced to use throughout the entirety of the graveyard. And also, to add to it, I'm nothing but bones now! Because, well, I decided, you know what, we're going through a graveyard, it'd be, uh, fitting to use bones. I, why is there hell here? Well, that's new! I actually never noticed this before! I gotta say, for a bunch of mindless minions that I've been slaughtering by the hundreds, you guys actually play a pretty good tune. Uh, yes, I would like to buy the album that this band has for sale. You don't have it? Fine. Here. Alright, well, that was a nice little distraction at the very beginning, but time to make our way through the graveyard. Now, my opinion on the site, as you probably heard earlier, which you probably should have, I hate this weapon. I absolutely hate this weapon. It's an absolute downgrade from the shotgun because, well, you know, it was a shotgun. This is a scythe. And it's mainly because of the way Jack uses it. Oof, a graveyard. Why do you have to come why do it have to be a graveyard? Well, of course it'd be it's a spooky Halloweenish game, bro. Of course it'd have to be a graveyard level. But getting back on topic of the scythe. It it sucks in terms of attacks. You think that, oh hey. It's a scythe type weapon, so usually you would think that it's uh, probably used for like uh, big crowds, you know, you gotta, you gotta do sweeping attacks with it. But for whatever reason, Jack in his infinite wisdom decides to attack with overhead swings. He does do an over, he does do a sweeping attack afterwards, but for the most part he does overhead swings, and I absolutely hate it. Not only that, but it kills all momentum in any combat, he just likes to stand his ground and swing his thing. You are able to do... Uh, sweeping attacks for the most part if you do the dodgeball attack, which, uh, it has a pretty decent time for it. But I still prefer the shotgun over this hell. I prefer the shovel over this weapon. As for the jump attack, that's the only time I can think of where the overhead swing makes the most sense. But even then, it always feels really lackluster. Like, it feels like it should be like a much bigger shockwave to it. But whatever, let's just make our way through this graveyard and see if we can pick up on where the wizard went to. You best not to disturb these restful souls, Jack. Oh yeah, because Jack has been known to not disturb the restless dead. I've been known to destroy the restless dead. I've been doing nothing but destroying the restless dead. And I hear a crow skull chirping. Oh, what a kindly young fellow. I must go say hello to him, for he looks very adorable. Oh, oh, hello there! Why, you look like you fit right in around here! Ho oh, oh. ho! I spent way too long in a graveyard, Gremlin. Not this cemetery! Ho oh, oh. ho! I mean the other cemetery! What are you talking about? Just past this gate lies the inner cemetery where the all manner of monsters convert. Gargoyles, ghosts, skeletons, even a wizard! The wizard? He's here? Let me through, you little. Happy to help, 
But not just anyone can enter. To prove yourself a suitable guest, you must pass my test. Hoo <laughs> hoo. Whatever. What is this test? To open the gate, I need the powers of three grimoires. Each one is stored in a crypt around here. One over there, and two over there. Hoo <laughs> hoo. Get all three grimoires, and I'll let you through the. Hoo <laughs> hoo. What is it with you people and all your meaningless sidesteps? I don't know. Th this place is weird. I think us destroying humanity in the name of the underworld is probably doing them a service. Alright, well, time to go get ourselves some grimoires. I see a crow skull floating up there, and I want to go snag that first. Let's just hop up here real quick. Uh, actually, I don't think this is what I'm supposed to do. I think I have to get a little bit more height on my jump. There we go, because I forgot Jack does not mount... Uh, things that are close to him, although I always felt that he did. Okay, yeah, he does. I just have really bad luck with getting on top of that pillar. Now we get to see just how awful this site is and how much I absolutely hate it. Like I said, unlike the shotgun, unlike the sword, unlike the spear, and unlike even the shovel, this thing kills all momentum in combat. He, Jack just decides to plant his feet, which I guess I can understand that it's like a very big weapon, so... You really want to, want to plant your feet to get a good hefty swing in it, but at the same time, it's just, I, I don't like this. It, it, it's not fun. It, it's a very bad weapon to get. But it's a weapon I'm forced to use, given my own terms, so here I am having to stick with it. There we go. I thought I had to break these. As you can tell, the fact that these the graveyard here is very foggy, it's going to be a little bit harder to find crow skulls and the gramophone because, well, the, the fog actually kind of obscures the glow of the crow skulls, you, so you really do need to weigh in on the sound that it makes in order to find most of them rather, rather than uh, look for the glow of them. Oh, oh, that's the spirit jack! I just need two more grimoires to open the gate! How did I even get over here? At least with the, the ghost merchant, it made sense because he created a portal. But I I don't know. Graveyard magic. There we go. Oh, all right. The ghosts. Now, these ghosts are a lot different from the skeleton ghosts that we've been fighting throughout the most part. Mainly because, well, as you can see, these guys are invisible, as ghosts would often be. So we got to actually keep our eyes open for them. I think there is somewhat of a tell when the ghost is nearby. I think you can faintly see their outline, or you can actually uh, faintly see their weapon floating in midair. You see a crow skull over there that's black, which means, oh, no, you can actually see their eyes glowing. That was it. And also a, a bit of a shadow. And and a glow in front of them. Like, they're, they have, like, flashlight vision. I feel like it's a good thing there's a lot of stuff in this graveyard, because I do feel like I'm going to probably die in combat for the first time because of this weapon. Oh, yeah, that's also another thing. Uh, you can't hurt them until they turn tangible. So, you gotta wait until they decide to show their face, which, of course, only means when they're about to attack. So, you gotta dodge roll away, dodge roll back, and then you're good to go. All right, let's go grab this skull over here. More snowmen that are very out of place here. Go back to your own season. We're still in October. How do they put barricades inside a crypt? That just seems pointless. Each of the crypts had their own, like, specialized gimmick with them. Like, I guess technically because this one had rats in it, it's different from the first crypt. But at the same time, it's like, oh, one would be, like, a platforming challenge. One would be, like, a, a dodge challenge. One would be a, a battle challenge. But, oh, well. I hear more chirping. I think it's inside one of the mausoleums here. Yep, there it is. There we go. 
And thankfully, if you forget which crypt you went into, they actually have a red glow around them, so you don't accidentally go back into them. And I think that the pathway down is blocked. Oh, no, it's not. It's just got a red glow to it. Yep, there's another crow skull sitting back there for me. I shall go snag it quite quickly. There we go. I was kind of figured that I believe that this place, it, this is probably the level that I remember the least amount, which is weird because aesthetic wise, it looks really nice. But I always figured that it was like split up into four parts, so you know, you get five crow skulls per area would make the most sense. But then again, after seeing how Skeletown treated us in terms of crow skulls, and how the rest of the game has treated us in terms of crow skulls, especially the mines, uh, they really could just pack so many into one area. The bats! Haven't seen you guys in a while. There's our final grimoire. That's all of them! Stand back! By the powers combined, I command this gate to open! Well, fare thee well, old timer. I'm just gonna do one more lap through here just to make sure I didn't miss any skulls, but by the fact that I don't hear any chirping, should tell me that we've gotten all the skulls up to this point. Oh, wait. Hello. Oh, that's just a... That's just where we came in. Never mind. Why that grave's on fire, but whatever. Alright, I think we've gotten everything in the first area, so let's just continue on our way. I'm kind of hoping that Skeletown is the only place that we had to go back for Crow Skulls, because I've been having a pretty good track record of getting all the Skulls in one go, and all the gramophones as well. Well, what are you waiting for? The gate's already open! Ho <laughs> ho! Alright, alright, old timer, I'll get going. Oh. This place has gone insane. Crow, this world has never been sane to begin with. What are you saying? Oh, oh ghosts! There we go. I hear chirping. I think it's up there. No, they're just crossbowmen with uh, shield spells on them. As much as I, I like the mechanics of, of, like, oh, hey, we're finally fighting humanity and all the monsters and such, and the fact that they introduced the shield spells, I kind of wish we had another level where we're fighting humans, because that's basically Jack's whole thing with this game. Our job was to literally uh, fight humanity at the wish of the devil, but at the same time, it's like, okay, we only fight humanity for, like, one level, and that's it. The rest are just fighting monsters. Yeah, so far, we're doing pretty good in terms of crow skulls. Oh, boy. Also doing pretty good in terms of set myself on fire and falling to my death. It's a new record! All right, let's try that again, shall we? This time, don't go bouncing off the edge of this platform. Let's just hop up over here. Hop up here. I feel like there's something hidden up here, but I don't hear chirping, so that might not be the case. Yeah, it was just a way to get around to get to this crane arm. Leap of faith. And no uh, hay bale for me to land in. All right, new enemies are gargoyles. They uh, stand up on their perch and shoot projectiles at you, but knock them off the perch, and they just spend most of the time running away and building new perches. They're sort of like mobile defense towers, I, I should probably say. So they're like the skeleton towers that we've been fighting, but they're more, uh, they're more stronger, and they also are more mobile. I figured this would be a perfect place for them to hide skull, but I guess not. I 
hear chirping though. And I see a skull fluting. Oh, I thought I heard another skull around here. Be like, wow, really? That many that close together? I do see a ghost floating around back there. This was all for nothing. If you're fast enough, you can actually take out a gargoyle before he makes a new purge, which is really good. It's quiet, too quiet. I got a bad feeling about this one, Jack. Gee, it's almost like the, the soundtrack decided to just stop immediately. Hmm. Well, all these gargoyles around here, and the fact that we've been fighting gargoyles for a good majority of this level, I'm sure nothing bad's gonna happen. Wait, do you hear that? Yeah, who's playing that organ? Where'd that god choir come from? It's headed straight for us! So, uh, welcome to Flappy Bird. Uh, you gotta you got tap the B button to stay, uh, high in altitude. Uh, make sure the gargoyle isn't dragging Jack along the ground and grind him, grind him into bone meal. Uh, I kind of, I kind of like this one a little bit more than, than the, the race one that we did from the last level. Although it is very fast paced and I have found myself to... Uh, screw up on uh, trying to avoid most of the things here. But the music's pretty good. It's a lot better than the last level this one was. That's for damn sure. Only thing I don't really like about it is the fact that, well, the camera angle. Because for the most part, you really do need to be clicking the ball when using Crow to open up the gates because the camera angle, for whatever reason, decides it doesn't want to put you into the position to send Crow out until you're literally like a foot away from the gate. For the most part, like when you have to make the turns, for sometimes they do give you a straight line. All right, put me down. There we go. All right, time to teach you a lesson. There we go. And for my troubles, yet another crow skull. And we are already halfway done with the level. And so far, unlike the the swamp or the city levels, I feel like I've done pretty good in keeping up with all the cross calls because I haven't heard any more chirping since uh, since the last area, well, aside from that one. Oh, oh, Jack! Hello again. So nice to see you. You again? Good grief! How'd you get here before we did? Gravekeeper's secret! Oh-ho! Of course. No matter. Let me through. I think you know by now it isn't that easy. Let me guess. Another test. Nope. Just a favor. That's even more annoying. I need you to clear the way of all these old headstones. What? Why? I'm just a little gravekeeper, and I got no more room for any new graves. You're here to make sure the world is laid to ruin. I need the space. I just need you to clear away all these headstones. It's easy. When you're done, I'll open up the gate. There's a handy dandy spot for you to get in there and do your thing. When did this become a whole world? When did I become the whole world's errand boy? Uh, when you first took this deal from the devil to come back to the real world, Jack. All right. Well, time to play a game of Graveyard Keeper and tend to the graves. And by tend to them, I mean tend to make sure that they are all completely wiped out. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, the graves that we have to go and break uh, don't yield any health. Which you would think is super weird because of the fact that, you know, they have spirits coming out of them, so you'd figure that they would be breaming with so much energy. I also believe this is actually the part of the level where they start hiding crow skulls down in the crypts. Yep. But there are gravestones down here, so, you know, you'd have to come down here anyways. Thank you. 
Right, we came through that way. There's monsters over there, so let's just do a big loop so that way we can just uh, keep in mind where all the graves that I've already attended to are. Aw, oh, man, there's my grave. And now my grave's on fire. I wonder. Oh, oh god. This place is about to be my grave if I don't get away from that fire soon. Three graves. Don't tell me your memory's slipping, Jack. That little torp said you have to use the oof head hole. All right, what was that? What was the pumpkin challenge for this level? I forget. Is this actually a combat challenge one? Because it looks like it. Or are we playing musical gravestone? There's so many tombstones. Let's get smashing. Oh, no. It's a uh, match two. That's what it was. Pam McCoffin. Dwight Farrow. Hector Johnson. What did that say? Yoda d done it. Albus Walker. Almost thought that said Albert Wesker for a second. And be like, oh my god, this is actually in the Resident Evil universe. Mary Johnson. Okay, so yeah, you're not really supposed to be paying attention to the the first names. You have to pay attention to the last name, I believe. Wilson. Let's look for a Wilson. Hammond. Dupont. Smith. Wilson. There we go. Johnson, I believe it was you, Smith. Walker. There you are. There's Johnson. Eh, I kind of like this one a little bit more than Scale Town's one. At least it actually gives you time to figure things out, and you're not uh, pressed for time to do so many under a strict time limit. Jack Farrow. The coffin. Smith. I think Smith was right here. No, that's Hammond. Oh, I forgot about this uh, lair. There's my coffin. Smith. There, there's Smith. I think this was. No, that's you. Where's my coffin? Is it you? Yeah, there you are. Arrow, which I believe was right here. Yep. And finally, the Hammonds. We don't wake anyone up. I'm sure they'll be fine. We're just clearing out the graves, not clearing out the bodies inside the graves. back there. You know what? You are the first to die. And your friend over there is going to be the second to die. Huh. I thought that was a crow skull floating over there. Oh, good show. I'll just pop this gate open for you. All right, this part I'm actually uncertain about crow skulls. I think we've gotten everything, but at the same time, I feel like it, there's always that one that's going to be hiding from me. Now, I'm not hearing chirping, so I guess we're good to move on. Actually, wait, hold on. Before we go on, because I know there's probably going to be a point of no return, let me go back to Jack's grave real quick. Nope, everything's on fire. And now I make things more on fire. Huh. I thought there'd be something with, with Jack's grave, but I guess I was wrong. 
figure Jack would have something to say staring at his own dead body resting inside that uh, that crypt right there. Dead heads, dead head. One more time. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't see anything here. I see ghosts, though. are so annoying to fight. And still no skull for my trouble. What the hell, game? Oh, there it is. Of course you'd uh, set it precariously at the very top of this ravine. Alright, I'm holding my horses. Just gotta creep my way across here. There we go. So good. Haven't fallen to my death yet. Keyword yet. There we go. And I hear more chirping, and I believe it's there. It is. Right where I thought it would be. You know, for so much thunder going on in the background, I have yet to see any rain. Why is it that every time we have to go to a graveyard in every single game I have always uh, been in, there's always thunder in the background? I get aesthetic purposes, but at the same time, if you don't let it rain, it just seems really dumb. Also, Crow, what are you talking about, Vertigo? We've been at higher altitudes than this. Just kind of hoping that Jack would just break up a femur and just scale down with that like uh, if he were Daniel from Medieval. Come here. Come on. Who? What? Oh, gargoyles. And archers. I was kind of hoping I would take him out before he build another pillar. There we go. Of course, there'd be one more hit. Oh, well. Let's just keep moving on. Where do I go? Ah, down there. Crow actually being useful for one... Uh, hello? There we go. I was about to say, Crow actually being useful for once and actually uh, pointing me in the direction I need to go to. I hear more chirping. Yes, there it is. Almost didn't see it because of all this fog. Nope, cross call. I thought, oh wait, is this the way to the gramophone? But nope. Because it is actually a pretty out of the way place over here. I wouldn't put it past him to have hidden the gramophone back here. I do hear chirping, though. I think we're... Uh, what is this, 18? 17. We're almost done with all the crow skulls here. And thank God for that. Nothing that way, so let's just break this and continue on our merry way. Finally, a cathedral. I wonder if anyone's home. Well, I did see a crow skull waiting for me in there. You know, it's weird. I think they forgot to give Al lines in this because it, he hasn't shown up to brief us at all in this level. I think this is actually the only time in the game that Al does not have, like, a dialogue tree. He's just here for checkpoints. Welcome, Jack, to my cathedral. 
Uh huh. Who the heck are you? I'm the architect of hell. My master tasked me with waiting for your arrival here. Right, and I suppose this is all just you passing the time? This cathedral was in ruins when I arrived. I consider it my duty to preserve its majesty. Everybody needs a hobby, or I guess all your bodies. As the architect of hell, I am responsible for all construction and maintenance of systems. The ability to duplicate myself makes it far easier to fulfill my duties. Must be nice. Well, here I am. W what now, Architect? Where is that conniving wizard? He came here some days ago. We bid each other good passings, and he left through a portal. I have devised a way to open a similar portal that will place you right behind the wizard. Perfect. At last, someone helpful. So, what are we waiting for? First, you must... Ah, dang it, I spoke too soon. A portal requires energy, Jack. The wizard can use his magic, but we have to improvise. All around the cemetery lie statues that contain the powers of the seven deadly sins. Break them all and release all the powers of the sins and I can open the portal. Well, breaking statues sounds fun. Show me the way. Of course, you gotta go all the way back to where you came from to get the first statue. Then you gotta come back here and open, go through this specific gate to get the other one. The statue containing the Sin of Pride sits on top of the cathedral. The rest of the statues are beyond the gates. Hurry, Jack. With every passing moment, the wizard's power grows stronger. No, well, you don't have to tell me twice. I hear chirping, but I think it's actually up here. Alright, take another drink, because why not? And we gotta find ourselves a way up to the top of the cathedral to get that first statue. And hey, check out who's uh, set up shop in the back of the graveyard here. Oh, Jack, are you following me? Don't flatter yourself, creep. What are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I'm digging. Digging up bodies, of course. So, care for a new look? I've got new skins in stock just for you. I don't know, this one seems like a ripoff. You promised me skins, but I don't see any skins on these bones, uh, shopkeeper. I think you ripped me off. I had to turn the scythe on you, but unfortunately I can't. So, I guess I'll just get to climbing. I hear the chirping, I see the glowing. There we go. Yeah, this way. Somebody t better tell the composer to start pressing more keys on a, on a soundtrack. It's just been playing the same two notes for the past five minutes. Cinepride, aren't we just amazing? All right, so we've got one, two, and I think three, four, five are over there. Or actually, no, I think it's three on that side, three on that side. Oh, no, wait, no. It's two here, three there, and then I think the last one is actually a boss fight. All right, time for a leap of faith again. And this time I did land in bushes, or trees, but same thing, really. Oh, look who it is. Oh, hello, Jack! Oh no, forget it, you toad. I'm not doing any more tests or favors for you, or for anyone else. I spent far too long this whole trip running around doing cheap open sesame tricks. Well, no more! I'm putting my foot down, right now! Well, if that's how you feel, I guess I won't help you get across the cemetery. Oh, ho, cheer up, Jack. I'm only teasing. Of course, I'll help you. You want to know how to get around the cemetery, right? Yes, your gravekeeper's secret. Well, here's a little demonstration. Oh, Albaherd, fetch boy. More classical music. I do love the, the this selection of spooky uh, renditions of classical songs. Ow. Now, if only... 
but stop bumping into stuff. Uh -oh. Go up, go up. Altitude, altitude, we need more altitude. How far is this rock head taking us? That's enough, I'm getting airsick, and I'm a bird! For the record, this is why I hate gargoyles. I think it, uh, the gargoyles' wings are actually flapping in beat with the song. Which, if so, that's actually a nice touch. Stone is an aerodynamic, how is it even flying? I, I love uh, Crow's comments throughout all of these. I, I don't give Crow enough praise. I've been bashing on Crow a little too much throughout this series, but then again, it's just been a running joke in this game, so of course. Let you go, Crow, you're flying behind me. It doesn't even have you. If anything, this should be Jack talking. Oh, I see, you got stealth camo on, do ya? Hey, you big dummy. Disguise for birds, not for you, giant turds. Literally going in an entire circle just to release the sin of lust. Well, it would be fitting that I would release the sin of lust because I do actually really like that segment. And the music. If memory serves, yeah, there's a crow skull. Oh no. So many skulls and beaks and they're all nicer than mine. Am am I a pretty bird, Jack? Yes, crow, you're a pretty bird. These skulls are terrible fakes. I've never been so insulted. Never, you've never been insulted. How do you how do you think how I feel? I think there is actually a regular crow skull hiding amongst all these fakes. And I believe that the sin, I think the sin here is greed, which makes sense why there's all these fakes of collectibles that you've been getting throughout this adventure. That or envy, but I think it is greed. Oh, no, it is envy. Still four more statues. And we're still one skull short. I think it might actually be around the cathedral on the other side. But I'm not 100% sure on that. Right, I think this one was the pathway that also led to the gramophone for the level. Past all these ghosts, of course. And of course, this one would be a combat challenge. So, I think this is the Sin of Wrath. Makes sense why its statue is lightning bolts. Yep, wrath. All right, just three more statues, and the next one is literally right across the way from us. I'm also starting to get a little bit nervous because I really do hope that I did not miss a crow skull back in this level. Getting those skulls back. I think this one might be greed. Jack, how dare you? Yep, greed. Give me some of that rubble. Thankfully, they actually do refund the crow skulls to you. And speaking of crow skulls, there's our final crow skull. Oh my god, actual knights! I didn't even realize these guys were here. I completely forgot about them. What are these guys even doing here? Why well, is just a, a band of knights sitting on top of this hill in the graveyard? 
Well, even though that says 16, that is our last crow skull for the level, and I also believe down this way should be the gramophone. Because, as this game likes to do, it likes to stick the gramophone way out of the way from the main pathway. Yep, and sitting right there on that little dock is some spooky songs. Rattle them bones, Jack! Well, now that all collectibles I are good to go, let's just head back over this way. I uh, I actually think that there might be skulls enough skulls in this area that you don't need to backtrack to the level to find the other ones. I think there are exactly four in this area. All right. What and what uh, sin is left? Uh, we've gotten. We got lust, we got greed, we got envy, we got what was it? What was the one at the top of the, the graveyard or the chapel? I say Eric Cartman. Wow, they finally did it. They killed Eric. Uh, let's see, token the white. I think this is actually the challenge that actually has like a bunch of Easter eggs and a bunch of references. Like, uh, let's see. Oh, Eric Cartman, of course. Uh, let's see. There has to be another one. Dr. Figs. Lana Snow. I swear, if the significant other of this grave is not named John, I'm going to be very upset. Bruce Archer, I believe you were right here? No. Parker. Wayne. There's Stark. Krieger. There's Parker. I believe it was you? Nope, Wayne. There you are. Archer, leave. No, not you. You. Nope, Cartman. Not from one, you idiot. No, which one? Uh, figs. There's Creaker. And Creaker was. This one? Yep. There's Figs. Gandalf the White. Oh, it's weird it should be Gandalf the Grey down there, but oh well. Bruce Archer. Frodo Baggins. This is just a bunch of Lord of the Rings characters, isn't it? Leonidas Snow. Damn. I'm very disappointed that you did not make the most obvious Jon Snow reference. Baggins, Archer, Thank you, There's Smith. I believe Smith was the not this one. This one. Nope. Archer. This is Smith. Sorry, the fact that I have the memory of a goldfish. It's figs and figs. I believe was you. Yep. Yeah. What's going on? Oh, that is super weird in the background how it's just all warping uh, based off a of distance. What is going on back there? That is really weird. Yeah. All right, Graveyard, do the wave. Nope. 
you. I think this... I think the sin that we're going to release here, I believe it's pride. Good job, I think. Hasn't this guy ever heard of a key before? Nope. Nope, sloth. Do we have to do more? Yes, bro, we do. Well done, Jack. We're almost ready. Head to the crypt in front of the cathedral. One task remains. I guess we already did get pride. I think pride might have been the first one that we got. Well, not the one at the top of the cathedral, but like the one to the gate. All right, six sins, six sins down, one more to go. See what's inside the box. It's Flubber! Yikes, that thing's gluttony. Kill it before it eats you. I, I like that the, the Sin of Gluttony fights with a giant cartoonish fork and knife. I thought those were like giant skeleton hands that it had, but no. It's actually a really cool like uh, thing with it. Alright, I think we gotta kill all his little minions. And avoid the knives that he's throwing at us. Oh, there we go. Alright, time to jump in. We're in his stomach? Ew, 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 get me out of here. This is actually one, probably the, my my second favorite boss fight in the game just because of how cool the aesthetic of it is. Right, we gotta, we gotta break that thing around the skull, so there we go. We gotta make him run into the pillars. Second phase, gotta avoid the goo piles. Although it's, I would say that the goo piles in this fight are a lot harder to avoid than the the fire cracks during the King of the Monsters fight, just because, well, as you saw with the shock waves, they kind of blend in with the with the color of the goo, so you need to be really careful that you don't accidentally drop on top of one when you're uh, dodging the shock waves. Time to give this guy an upset stomach. There we go. So you don't have to break all the pillars, you just gotta make his skull crash into it multiple times. But the pillars do break so that way you don't rely solely on just hiding behind one pillar. You do gotta keep moving. real quick. There we go, finally. Jack, please, for the love of God, get Jack! You idiot. And I'm all out of stuff to break. Actually, no, there's some crates back here I can probably break. Yep. Oh, God. God, this time, please jump correctly. All right, just a little bit more head trauma, and then we'll be done with the fight. There's two. Right here, buddy. And with that, we are done. You defeated him. You defeated the gluttony. Good work, Jack. And of course, to drive it home, one more uh, that we just took out Gluttony. This stone thing is like a, a, a stew pot. I don't know about you, but I'm also pretty hungry myself, Crow. That's the last of them, Jack. Let's go talk to that weirdo, the architect. He's not that weird. Honestly, he's been like the most sane person that we've run into this entire adventure.
I commend you, Jack. Well done. The seven deadly sins have been released from their containment. Wait, that's what you meant? I thought the statues were just en enchanted or something. The statues were merely plugs, sealing the sins away where they couldn't influence humanity. But now you have set them free, and with their power loose, I can open the portal to the north. Hmm. Well, at least that helped the world fall into ruin a little faster. Open the portal, Architect. I've got a wizard to kill. Very well, Jack, but be warned, the wizard is clever and powerful. To that end, I offer you this. A gr grant your carrion companion touch my gifts of self-duplication. Once you cross through the portal, your companion will be able to create copies of himself at will. So I have to deal with more of this little pest? Wow, thanks. Happy birthday to me. Your little friend serves you well, Jack. His support should be acknowledged. The fate of the world rests in your hands, Jack. Now, go slay the wizard and doom the world! Oh. I thought he was actually granting me the power, but no. You have to wait until we get to the next area. Fine, but I better pack something a lot warmer if we're going north.